welcome back to the channel it is your girl sue here back with another great video today hope the channel sue here is your esoteric empress back at you with another great video thanks for watching at any point in this video you know what to, to do give your girl a thumbs up that's supporting the channel it's your energetic contribution leave your feedback hit the subscribe button that's right below that is how you're going to become part of this wonderful spirit fam here growing consciousness one video at a time you know here we talk about law of attraction we talk about spirituality we talk about lifestyle relationships all of that good stuff so you've come to the right place if you're new welcome namaste if you are not welcome back you guys today we are talking about failure that's that f word that a lot of people can't stand right failure we're talking about it in a good sense today we're not talking about it in the derogatory sense it is usually connected with today we're talking about why failure is essential to your growth failure is a necessary part of life you guys and i'm thinking about so many different things i wanted to discuss today however this is something that's weighed heavily on my mind for the past few days and so if this is something that you are faced with this video resonates with you smash that thumbs up button so when we hear the word failure we cringe we're like oh my gosh like you know a lot of us go through life consistently feeling like we're failing consistently feeling like failures I know for a lot of even young people, especially millennials like us, there are so many different reasons why we can feel like failures, right? Because we're not following the status quo. We're not conforming to the systems like, you know, rules and regulations. We're not like fitting into the mold anymore. At least I'm not. <laughs> and I'm sure if you're part of the spirit farm, you're not either. However, a lot of people cast judgment on people who actually are nonconformists. They feel like, okay, hmm, you don't work a, a normal, regular nine to five. They put the stamp on you. Failure. Like, <laughs> hell no. Nothing could be further from the truth. Or, for instance, persons who may have been in relationships, they may have split up. They may have gone separate ways. People deem you as a divorcee, divorcee, failure. Let's say some persons who may not even have graduated high school, whatever, society says, failure. You know what it's all about? This. It's all about what you feel about yourself. What the outside world thinks does not matter. What you feel about yourself is of the utmost importance, okay? Because a lot of things that you see, a lot of people that you see, the, the, the moguls, the top innovators, the philosophers, the inventors, the scientists, all of these people who you see or whose names are so commonly out there right now, like so popular, there were points in their lives where they felt like failures too. There were points in their lives where people thought they were failures. Like I was just watching this video and it dawned upon me like when they talked about Orville and Wilbur, Wilma Wright. You know, the, the, the brothers who had this fanatical idea about flying, right? Like, and people were like, oh my gosh, like, yeah, that's the Wright brothers. Like they, <laughs> yeah, you heard right, fly, okay? And now look at us, look at what we're all doing. Look at where we are. Yes, we don't have wings yet, but we are flying, right? <laughs> I'm flying, I'm flying. <laughs> so you guys think about this. There's a time for everything. Trust the divine plan, trust in divine timing. Because today, when you're deemed as a failure, tomorrow you can be the greatest success of the world. Like if you believe in yourself, it's all about believing. It's all about actually being consistent, like continuing to press toward the goal, not giving up in the face of adversity, not giving up at the first little negativity. Because the reward 
is for those who can endure to the end. The reward is not for the swiftest. It is for those who can endure. It's meaning endurance means to press through the tough times, press through the times when it's most dark, the times when it's like seemingly impossible, press through. Okay, and this is what I talked about in the last video. Talk about um, ignoring the circumstances a lot of times. All of this is necessary. But in terms of like feeling like a failure, you guys, you have to change that mindset. You have to change that belief about yourself because as a man thinketh, so is he. So as long as you feel like you are a failure, you're going to continue to screw up. You're going to continue to mess up the things that actually are going to help you that benefit you, that are going to help you get to where you want to be. You're going to start making decisions, poor decisions. You're going to start actually avoiding and ignoring the things that are necessary for your elevation and advancement. So think about yourself as a great success. Don't ever allow that word failure to creep up and like nest, like lay down a blanket and nest in your mind because you are not a failure. The fact that you are here, it tells a lot. It means that you have so much more to do, so much more to accomplish, so much more to see, experience and become. Like always remember this, you guys, because if I think about my life, if I think about things, right, a lot of things that I can th say for, for sure, a lot of things that I can say, if it's according to society standards, I um, would be a complete failure, okay? But I never look at myself like this. A lot of things sometimes when you think you are a failure, you'll be surprised other people are out there hating on you. Other people are out there jealous of you. Other people are out there wishing and wanting what you have. When you're thinking you don't have it, they're like, oh my gosh, like, wow, what did she do to get this? Like, I know a lot of people when I was in my long-term relationship, my marriage, I should say, a lot of people out there, even though the stress and the difficulty and the things that we were going through, the challenges at the time seemed so insurmountable, other people out there were like so amazed like wow like you know i want what you have like i want a relationship like that you make deem as a failure right now all it is is a lesson it's teaching you how not to do something so if you do something incorrectly like i don't care if it's a hundred a thousand thousand ways you've learned how to not do it so next time you're gonna do it better than the last and so with that being said i just wanted to drop this video guys today this precious jewel of a video i love you for watching i hope you enjoyed and i hope you've done all of that you know <laughs> necessary stuff on the channel as your energetic support and if not do so right now i will be back very shortly with another great topic but until then i'm gonna say peace out blessed be and namaste bye